सो हेलो एवरी वन गाइज वेलकम बैक टू प्रोग्रामिंग नॉलेज सो इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डेवलप अ रिस्पॉन्सिव यूजर इंटरफेस इन अदर वीडियो आई टोल्ड यू हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट द मीडिया क्वेरी हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट द अडेप्टिव डिजाइन यूजिंग मीडिया क्वेरी बट दिस टाइम वी विल क्रिएट अ रिस्पॉन्सिव यूजर इंटरफेस यूजिंग द ले आउट बिल्डर सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम लेट्स मूव ऑन वट टू बेस्ट टॉपिक so guys in the last step i shown you how you can create so let's just remove the base code base for that just remove it so on to the design the setup is completed now what we are going to do in the to use layout builder we don't require the scaffold also now you will say how we will meet when we are not needing the scaffold also we are just going to pass the layout builder and the builder takes the two attributes context and constraints and then complete it and it's done so this is how we can create so the basic syntax is right now what you got what you need to do is just you can use if now in the design part basically let's you can like over here return anything let's just return for now return a container and the container height and which should be 100 100 the color should be red and it should be centered let's just save this design and go to a main so now over here let's just go to the device now this is the basic page what we need okay so instead this like what you can do one more thing instead of center you can just copy this okay ha yeah you can just copy just copy this and pass the scaffold and inside the body tag pass this and just save it and you can give the background color whatever you want i am giving the blue color so save it and now you can see on the screen we get the <coughs> scaffold and also we need the we need it to be center so this is how we can like the this is the way we can create the page this is the basic page but this is for only the mobile design okay let's just instead of uh let's just give a uh, wrap it with column after wrapping with column make the container so it will take two three columns and let's just give everyone the size box of height 10 each so we just gave it the size of height of the each save it and now you can see this is the design and we can also pass the main axis alignment to it main axis alignment to the to let's just give it a space evenly and now you can see the screen is divided into three now what we want next like an if we are going to mac os and go to any device so now it's still the same but now what the, the layout builder will do layout builder will make it responsive how it can make it responsive like if i am on to the mac os or windows or anything it will come in the vertical manner and right now it is in the like in the mac os or os or any windows it will come in the vertical uh, horizontal manner and in the android it is coming in the vertical manner so how we can change it so now how you implement the layout builder and make a responsive layout just remove this or let us comment it out and close this and you can see we get the second attribute called constraints what is this we are just write if constraints dot max width 
is greater than 600 if it is greater than 600 <coughs> just uh, and if it is not so we can write this way and comment it out okay and over here also we will paste the same thing and now let's just assume it okay, if the size is greater than 800 it is the mobile it is the desktop screen and if it is less than it is the mobile screen so over here instead of column we are going to use row that's it just go come to this and over here now you can see when i am going to mac os and going to large it is automatically spreading it out and similarly you can design it for this like a uh on the android go to small okay now let me just quickly build you <coughs> let me build something for you let's make it table dot infinity then in the height should be 250 let's just give it 250 and all of this should be 100 <coughs> or the which should be the build out infinity now you can see let us assume this is the <clears throat> this is our youtube in the youtube you can find that the videos are listed one like in the <clears throat> phones youtube what you can see over here the video is there and the other list of videos are below it but when it's come to desktop so the size and so the alignment changed what will be changed like uh, when i am going it to the mac os and over here so this is like this but what we want we want that this screen should come over here and this list should come over here so how you can achieve it to achieve it what you are going to need over here come on to the desktop screen where the max width is greater than 800 and all these containers the container you defined over here let's just copy all of them come over here and instead of all three of them remove them and use the column and use the children and design it and we are going to use a container and the containers height should be 250 and the width should be 750 and the remaining width will be given to them so this is the very basic i am not making the accurate design of the youtube but with this you may get the idea so on the mac os go this so now you can see this three designs and the very first container needs the color let's just give it the color once again and now now you can see this is coming in this way let's just quickly fix this main lot of axis alignment and the cross axis alignment cross axis alignment dot start yeah so now you can see it is it is similar to the youtube like of course it isn't but let's just assume it it is similar because the alignment of the <coughs> attributes are similar like uh, just um, play with numbers and you will get the size what you want so this is how you can get the size so this is also one one of the method you can design so what is layout builder doing now the layout builder part whatever we did we did in the layout builder it is right so you can see how we used it instead of scaffold in the build method we use the layout builder and it takes the two methods context or two attributes context and constraints if the constraint is constant width is greater than 800 so it will return a layout which layout 
which is the layout which is designed for web you can see i designed this layout for web or for desktop screens and over here i have designed this lab this design to for mobile screen so whatever mobile you take in the pane in the come coming over here, back to here just take the android device over here you can see in, in the tablet also in the tablet see over tablet this doesn't support that one but if the medium tablet which cross the limit of 800 so over here also it will take that design so what you can do you can do like uh, you we can design for desktop and everything like how so very first the first screen will be of desktop size how it is the we know the desktop starting size is 1620 so let's just take one less than it the 1619 so if it is 1619 return for the <clears throat> return for the desktop and if it is not like use the else if and we are going to design for tablet also let's just give the constraints dot if the minimum width the minimum width is greater than 799 if it is greater than 799 so it should return and over here let's just use the else block and we are going to use the same scaffold and we'll make some changes to differentiate and constraints dot max width is less than 1620 so the condition says that if it is greater than 1619 of course the, the greater than 1619 is 1620 and if it is 1620 return the desktop screen and if it is if the minimum width is greater than so means the minimum if the minimum width is 800 and the maximum width is lesser than 1620 so it means it is a tablet screen and both of the condition fails then it means it is a mobile device screen so what we are going to do now we are just going to use the black one like just to differentiate it we are going to use the black one and not change much difference in that we just save it okay now save it now you can see if I am on to the devices, so it is giving me the red one, it, it is returning the mobile screen and when I am switching to tablet, it is giving me the tablet screen and when I am switching to the any type of desktop screen, it is giving me the web view. So, this is how we can create the responsive layout based on the screens. So, this is, we can create it by using the layout builder. So I hope you find this video helpful. So that's it for today's video. Thank you.